Local 3 Sports with Jake Duran. Week four of the high school football season was full of some intriguing matchups. One of those happening in Irontown, our game of the week featuring two UP Blue Blood programs, the Nagani Miners hosting the undefeated Kingsford Flivers. It was Hawaiian night at Miners Field where the Miners welcomed in the Flivers. We're going to pick the game up in the second quarter. No score. Nick Navarro going to hand it off to Eliza and Rouse. The big back will bull bulldoze his way into the end zone, making it 6 0 Kingsford. We're going to jump now to the third quarter. Miners will get on the board. Ty Jacobson hands it off to Kyla Carr. He's going to power his way in for six. Nagani takes the 7 6 lead after the extra point. In the fourth quarter, Flivers will re regain the lead. Kingsford going to go back to their workhorse Rouse. He's going to score his second touchdown of the game. Flivers back up 12 to 7, but Nagani was not done yet. Jacobson going to hand it off to Lacar and he's going to kick it into another gear. Nagani goes on to win our game of the week in a close one, 13 to 12. Question ball to Kingsford is a great, great ball club. Um, got some tremendous athletes, a great up front. I mean, it, it took everything tonight. Um, I, I think I'm proud of my, our guys tonight. Uh, they were able to put a, put a complete game together. You know, we kind of struggled and sputtered at, at times throughout the scene so far, but tonight um, they really played to win instead of playing not to lose, and I'm proud of these guys. Let's head to West Ishpeming where the Patriots played host to Houghton. On the first play of the game, Westwood quarterback Ethan Amarda going to throw it deep, but the ball is going to be picked off by Wyatt Jenkins. And Jenkins, he's going to head the other way. He gets tackled for a sure, short return, but the Gremlins are in business. A bit later on third and seven, the ball going to be handed off to Jay Hallinan. He's going to see a crease. He breaks it to the outside, and Hallinan going to go 37 yards for the score. 6-0 Houghton after the, after the unsuccessful two-point try. Second quarter, Patriots still trailing by a score on 4th and 15. Marta going to scramble to his left and find Jace Arsenault. That's a 24-yard connection. Patriots would convert the two-point conversion to go up 8-6. to six. With just over a minute remaining in the first half, Gremlins looking to regain the lead. Oscar Peterson going to throw it up to Hallinan, and he's surrounded by a couple of Westwood defenders, but it doesn't matter. He's going to come down with the catch and is in for the touchdown. Houghton goes on to win this one 34-16. to 16. The Gladstone Braves at home, first meeting with the Hancock Bulldogs. First quarter, Braves already in the red zone. Nate Young going to pass it up to Eli Berthume, and he's going to score the touchdown. It's 8-0 Braves after the two-point try. After a short Hancock punt, the Braves going to take over in Hancock territory, and Young going to go to the air again. This time, it's Caden Gibbs with the grab. Two-point conversion is good. It's 16-0 Gladstone. Halfway through the first quarter, Bulldogs finally get moving. Pass to Luke Mikola. He's going to make a man miss for the Bulldogs' first first down of the game. Then another first down run coming up as Cody Turner going to make a nice run, but the Braves going to make the stop in the red zone with an interception. Then the Braves going to go to the ground as Austin Solace. He's going to take the handoff and burst through the line for a 12-yard touchdown run. He had three touchdowns on the night. It's 26-0 Braves. And then icing on the cake is Perfume going to accelerate and take this one to the house. 67 yards for the touchdown. That's going to make it 32-0 Braves. They go on to roll in this one 45-16. Moving on now to Calumet, the Copper Kings taking on the Menominee Maroons. Menominee had a long trip to the Copper Country. But they came out ready to rock in this one. Second quarter, Maroons already leading by a score. A strong run by Landon Bardowski going to move the Maroons to within a yard or so from the end zone. Then Bardowski going to run it in the next play to make it 14-0 Maroons. On the two-point try, Trevor Tarakoff going to toss one up to Eli Beal. And Beal's going to moss his defender and come down with a tough catch. It's 16-0 Maroons. A bit later, Tarakoff, he's going to hand it off again to Bardowski. He's going to get to the outside, break through a tackle, and he's into the end zone for another score. It's 24-0 Menominee after the two-point try. This one was all Maroons. They win big over Calumet 44-0. Well, when we take these long trips, we get off and uh, got to be focused. So we've talked about uh, take care of business, and, and we got a pretty good group that likes to play football, so they took care of business, and I was proud of them for that. Um, I thought we executed well uh, because Calumet was coming hard. They were hitting us, and, and uh, our kids, I think we scored other, every drive other than the last drive of the game, um, and we were able to do some things. And then defensively, um, when they would get something going, we had a kid make a play, and we had stopped some drives. So I was just... Uh, you know, sticking with it, and I think the kids have done that. 
We're going to finish up in powers. The Jets continue their title defense, welcoming in on Tanaga. In the early first quarter, no score. The Jets have a Gorzinski under center. We know all about Luke, but now it's Jacob's turn to run the show, and he does it well here. He breaks 160 yards on the quarterback keeper, and that's going to make it 8 nothing Jets. Later, the Jets on the attack again. This is going to be a direct snap to Lane Gorzinski, and he's going to break through. He's into the end zone, standing up to make it 14 nothing at North Central. Antonagin will get on the board with just over two minutes left in quarter number one. Austin Gordon with a beautiful throw to Easton Legault. That score going to make it 14 to six North Central. The Jets with the answer very shortly after that is Gorzinski going to drop back the pass. He scrambles to his left. He will make a quick stop and toss it across the field to an open Caden Malone. This score here is going to make it 22 to six North Central. In the second quarter, the score is now 22-14 Jets. We're going to get a Gorzinski to Gorzinski connection. Jacob going to chuck a high arcing throw. Lane going to go up and snag it at its high, highest point. Antonagin fought hard, but in the end, the Jets come out on top 70-34. to